This is clearly a very, very tragic incident, and uh, my thoughts, first of all, go out to the, the families, the friends, all those who have been involved in, in what's happened today. Um, we're still waiting for a clearer picture in terms of the numbers of those involved, indeed, numbers of they have lost their lives as well, and uh, keeping a very close contact with the uh, investigators uh, on all those grounds. The uh, Accident Investigation Board are on their way uh, to the scene of uh, Stonehaven from um, Farnborough flying up there uh, now. Uh, we'll find out more from them. Um, obviously, there has been some very extreme uh, weather and, and uh, concerns about landslips. One of the things I've done today is convened emergency meetings in order to ensure uh, that we look into that uh, specifically along the line uh, in other locations just to make certain uh, whilst leaving the Rail Accident Investigation Board to do their job in the site itself. What one uh, thing which has been uh, helpful, I understand, is that there happened to be some rail workers working unrelated uh, not too far away, so there was some assistance that was able to get there, uh, and also uh, the emergency services are doing a tremendous job uh, on site. Uh, I'll be going there uh, tomorrow to understand the situation firsthand, offer every possible assistance. Uh, from, we've got Network Rail, the Rail Accident Investigation Board, the Office of Rail and Road, so we're getting all the right expertise uh, in there. But most of all, as I say, my, my thoughts are with the, the friends and the family of those who've been caught up in this, uh, what looks like this tragic incident today. Report.